Hey everyone, we are kicking off 2018 with a review on the newly released Octopad from Octopus Camera. First, let me say that I was reached out to by Octopus Camera asking if I'd like to check out their product a few months back. I thought that as a tripod it looked interesting and agreed to give them some camera time in exchange for a unit to review, so here we are today. In the months that I've been using the Octopad, I can say indefinitely that there's nothing like this that I have ever used. It's a small but heavy little piece of equipment weighing about a pound and 11 ounces. It sports a few uniquely rugged features, but its primary focus is obviously its octopus-like non-slip bottom. And when I say non-slip, I mean it in every sense of the word. I've gone to test the tripod on surfaces up to a 40 degree incline with some amazingly stable results. The bottom of the tripod measures about 17 centimeters in diameter and stands about 10 centimeters high with a fully extended ball head. So needless to say, it's a compact little tripod. I personally find it ideal for time-lapse shots, masking some frame shots, and I personally love using it for long exposure. The product is a must-have if you want to get uh, the most out of using your handheld gimbals for tracking and moving and time-lapse also. I've come to find out that not a lot of my tripods are as stable as tripods are supposed to be. This thing does not move. The unit also has an attached clip grommet for use with a carabiner or a lanyard for extra security. It also has a Velcro cable strap that you can use to manage your cables and keep them organized and safe from damage. Included with the Octopad is a high force ball head that screws in securely to its base. This thing is serious quality. If you're a vlogger, chances are you have a bendy tripod. Many companies make them, different sizes, colors, and prices. Well, I also have one of these. I continue to use my bendy tripod as an extension arm now, and less as a portable all-in-one versatile tripod that it was ultimately designed to be. They are flimsy, they fall over, their joints bend when they aren't supposed to, they break, they make taking time-lapse shots near impossible. I've yet to have an issue with my Octopad collapsing, tipping over, or shifting mid-lapse. I wouldn't use the Octopad in an extension arm as it's not made to be that. It won't replace a selfie stick, and that's perfectly okay. There's room for more than one tripod in my small camera bag, and seriously, the Octopad earned itself a permanent spot. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this review. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. And thank you, Octopus Camera, for sending me this awesome Octopad. I love it. It really is a part of uh, my small camera bag now. If you guys like this video, please make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. It definitely helps. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this new format for reviews. Um, that's going to be it, guys. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.